Shalom, shalom. First of all, I want to say um, hello to everyone and then give blessings and then most definitely thanks to the Father. Um, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, Uvain, Barak, Atah, Ruach, Akadesh, Etlo, Yakarat, Lepir, with all of my heart. Uh, most definitely. <clears throat> This video is here. I just I want to do this real quick so that way I can get ready for work tomorrow. But most of all, I hope everyone had a blessed, you know, weekend. And uh, most definitely, if you have work tomorrow, um, if you have to go into work tomorrow, have a safe trip. And if you work from home, you're blessed. All right. But anyway, just to wrap or to get this on the way real quick so that way I can um, get this information out there a little bit. This here is not to debunk or to even state what the father's name, true name is. Um, I have other videos. First, like, subscribe, share. It helps with the frequency. And most definitely, if you love me, then you'll do that for me. But anyway, all right. So basically, um, it's not to debunk the father's name um, at all. Um, I have other videos um, to where I debunk. Yahuwah and all of the other um, particular enunciations of the name. But I just wanted today's video is just to get the meaning of Yahweh's name, the power that's, like I said, I, you can't describe what the Father is, particular meaning, which means most ancient of days um, before what was he was. All right, so basically, here on my screen, Screen, if I can get it to work. All right, here on my screen, I have a little bit of information that's coming from Ancient Hebrew Research Center. Um, basically, this is a breakdown of all of the ways that you get into particular enunciations of YHWH, YHWH, um, which is YYA. Right here is the discrepancy in which they changed the father's name to where they, they um, put different dots and then little lines underneath the Y which is originally why, to get it to say whatever they wanted. And basically that's what this particular article is about right here, is to show you that they basically, um, the ways that it was manipulated um, after um, other individuals or other nations got control of the holy language. What is, God, what is the father's name in Hebrew? And it's by Jeff, Jeff A. Benner. But anyway, we go right here to what's written in Paleo Hebrew form. This style of Hebrew script is called Paleo-Hebrew and was used by the Hebrews from about 1000 BC and into the first century AD. Now let's examine the pronunciation of, you know, the letters. So then we go into the first letter, which is the Yod, or Yod, Yod, Yod. And in ancient form, it's this right here. It's this letter right here. Then if you go to the ancient Hebrew chart, it's right here. And you see, Wa, Wa. You got, I mean, oops, I'm sorry, Yod. Yod is that letter right there. They just took the little line straight across. Sometimes they did that, sometimes they didn't. Um, so basically, uh, that's the Yod right there. Then when we come back, that's the Yod. Y-H-W-H. So now, we go to the different ways in which people, let's go down to right here, <clears throat> where they pronounce it, the Yod, so when you get your whole line and different things like that. In modern Hebrew, this letter is pronounced with the V sound. In modern Hebrew, that letter is pronounced with the V, V sound like in vote. However, there is some debate on this among scholars. And many believe that the letter originally had a W sound. And many believe that the letter had a W sound, W sound. This is one of those letters that would take a vowel sound when it, at, when it is at the end of a syllable. At the end of a syllable, but of course we we all know that the wa is at the beginning of that particular syllable. All right, so had a dub at the end of the syllable, and would have a o or a u sound. And sometimes, you know, they put in. Now let's take this some of the. And taking another look at the name that's on a temple abstract, ostraca, ostraca. I'm sorry, ostraca is basically you get. They have. Y-H-W, Y-H-V-H, Y-H-W-H, Y-H-O-H, Y-H, where the discrepancy is when it comes to this particular letter that they changed to make a, a vowel sound. So they also take, took this letter, which originally made a 
all of these sounds, everything other than the W sound, V, W, O, and U. Then when you take the syllable breakdown, Y, H, V, H, which is not Y, H, W, H, which it is Y, H, V, H. So Yava or Yawa, but basically his name is enunciated Yahawa, 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 Wa, Yahawa, Yah, Yahwa. So basically, if you enunciate it this way, it would be Yahwa, Yahwa. It's close to Yahawa, Yahawa. So basically, <clears throat> you go into just what I just said. You will notice that there, that we are still missing vowel sounds. So basically, it's still missing vowel sounds when you're pronouncing it like that. But if you just clearly, to where a language that was ambiguous, meaning that it was already understood that when you said those consonants, you pretty much in a form and in a syllables that it was a, a, a sound that was following. Hawa, basically, is this right here? Yeah, hawa, yeah, hawa. All right, so then we go back to right here to where I showed you at first, which that letter originally made a wa sound, a W sound. And then we go to this particular letter here, yod, which means hand, hand, it's key right there. That's so key. So it's just like so powerful, right? Because all right, all right, all right, all right. When I was sitting here, oh, Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, um, just sent it to me, and I wasn't even thinking about this. This was nowhere near my mind at all. I was sitting back coast on the day out. Then all of a sudden, I just got chills, and I don't know if the Father, I mean, I'll, I'm going to just say the Spirit came upon me, and then it just opened my eyes. And a lot of people have different meanings behind the different names that they try to create, but trust the shore. It, 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 it's a key. And also, the father, the Son comes in the Father's name, meaning that the Son's name and the Father's name, is they're combined. They're combined because they're what? They're God. They're God, they're God, they're one. All right, let me go on. All right, so basically, when you got a letter that says why, so then you go back to the first letter, and that's yod. That's the yod, and the yod means hand, window, hook, window. All right, basically, all of this is just formulating one particular message that's supposed to be coming out to everybody, or for all we'll see. You'll be, you'll be able to look out your windows and see this coming. You won't need no binoculars. When it, anyway. When the father finally returns, when, oh my gosh. And it was coming in the, but basically when the father's word, which is all what he always said was his word unto them. Messages, word, wisdom, and the Holy Spirit. All right, so basically these are the particular, that was the particular influence when the word actually created. The father spoke it. So what did he speak? He spoke his word. And then what happened? Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit put life and everything that the father wanted life in. So basically he used, that's, that's, that's part of him in order to bring forth life, breath, and spirits. All right, so basically when you have this right here, you have the hand right here. And then I told you the complication, I'm staying on this YHWH for a second, what I'm trying to say. And then plus, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave me a comment, message, um, or call me or text me, some of you, um, and I'll try to clear it up. And if it's a, a broad enough topic, or if it's um, extensive clarity that needs to be uh, presented, then I'll go ahead and then just make a video on it to where I can answer any, a person's question step by step. All right, which I always do. Um, I try to present facts led by the Father. All right, so basically, Yahweh, Yahweh. So then basically, we already know that this particular letter, the Yod, Salafi, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, to do to the yod or yod, it actually, that means hand, hand, hand. All right, so now let's take a look at hawa, hawa. And um, like I've, I've done videos on it and clearing up the father's name. And you got haya, hawa, and hawa. This form of hawa, where you had to have the olive at the end, it basically, it's, it was rarely used, like something like two or three times. But this particular style of Hawa was, I'll read it. So that way you could actually see it for yourself. All right. Where is it right here? Let me move this up for a little bit. That way everybody can see, and including me. Uh, the Hebrew language knows one root, one root, root, root word, you know, root of a word. So basically one root, Haya. And two of the forms, Hawa, Hawa. So meaning that it was in ancient days, Hawa did exist. Um, hawa. Or so say 
Hawa, 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 but theological world book, I mean, word book of the Old Testament, the older Bible, BB, BDB, theological uh, dictionary does not differentiate or differentiate, dif, 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 shucks, differentiate between the two roots, Hawa and other Hawa, or one strand of the root, Hawa, is in fact the verb Haya. It is in fact, Hawa is in fact the verb Hawa. In an older, uh, older, in an older spelling and the other, Hawa is usually a variant of the verb. So just like I told you before, this form of Hawa was barely, was barely used. But this form of Hawa sounding that it was making, Hawa, Hawa, or one strand of the word Hawa is in fact the verb Haya. All right, so that's in fact the word Haya. So if Hawa, no, if Haya is supposed to be Hawa, let's take a look at what Haya means. Mm -hmm. As I can find it, where is our uh, block here? All right, so when we get right over, come on right over here. I'm on the East Playfair, um, Bible Hub, Haya, in the Strong's Concordance. All right, coordinates, it does act crazy. I don't do to this to stop acting up. All right, original word, ah, the yod is right there. That's that little Haya. Haya, verse how ya, how come to pass, to fall out, come to pass, become or be. That's what the wa, to fall out, come to pass, be. Let that marinate for a second. Yahawa, which ya comes from the yod, hawa is really. The word, I mean, haya is really the word hawa, and hawa and haya means to fall out, come to pass, and be. Now, with that being said, let me scare you a little bit more. Um, right here, this is coming from a particular, where did I get this from? From Word, Word Press. This is from Word Press. Dot com word the thing like I said before Hebrew hand of God hand of the Father yo the letter alone yo the tenth Hebrew letter yo oh yo is pictured at right meaning this little letter right here it's pictured to the right the rabbis picture yo as a hand the letter yo is the most common letter in the Hebrew Torah in fact the traditional teaching is yo is a part, traditional teaching is yet is part of every letter. Although for some letters, this is a stretch to see Yeah, because in certain situations that does not apply. The Christian picture is hand of the father. It speaks, well, I'll read it word for word, hand of God. It, well, I can't, hand of the father. It speaks to, it, it, it speaks of the praise of hand of the father. It speaks of the upraised hand of the father the hand of authority, often pointing a finger in description or discipline, hand of, pointing a finger in discipline. Let me calm down for a minute. All right. Because when, like I said before, I was just sitting there and somebody said, boom. All right. When Yahweh finished speaking with Moses at the Mount, at Mount Sinai or on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of, of the testimony, the tablets of stone inscribed by the, when the father spoke to Belshazzar, the hand of the father appeared and wrote his judgment on the king of the king on the wall. Suddenly, the fingers of a human hand appeared and wrote on a plaster of the wall near the lampstand in the royal palace. The king watched the hand as it wrote. His face turned pale and, his, and he was so frightened. That's in Daniel 5 through 6, chapter 5, verses 5 through 6. When the father spoke to the apostle John, 
in the vision of Revelations, a hand of the Father appeared. A hand of the Father appeared. Then I saw in the right, in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides. Revelation 5, 1. The yacht appears as the first letter of many people and persons who revealed the working of the Father in their lives on earth. The truth about the Father at work in them and through them was written in scripture, all scripture also. And this goes through the different ways that you could actually see where you had Yod as leading everything that was important. Um, you have right there, I see it, but it's it's not Yehovah, Yahweh, or Yehovah, or what did they say right here? Yahweh or Yahweh, um, Jacob, Jacob, Yeshurel, Yosef, Yehovah, Jacob, Yeshurel, Yosef. All right, notice that the Yoda appears at the top right. Okay, so basically what I'm showing you, if this is, is for to show you how to put it all together. Yod is the first thing that appears. The first thing that appears. We're talking about a being so mighty that when he moves, you know that it's the hand of the Father at work. So basically, when you take this right here into consideration, that Yod Hebrew hand of the father, 10th letter, Hebrew hand of the father. All right, so then, yo, alone we have Hawa, and Hawa, we already know that to fall out, to fall out, come to pass, become B. So, basically, hand of the father, will make all things fall out, all things come to pass, he will become and he will. All right, meaning that we're gonna see basically the raft of his hand in judgment when it falls down and it hits all the way. It takes, so he, he destroys everything after he claims his children, his chosen ones, Yeshirel, cho chosen one, children of Yeshirel. Yod, He, Wa, He, Yahweh, which means the hand of the Father will come. Right there. We got Haya, which is actually Hawa, and Hawa, and Hayod in front of Hawa. You got Yahweh to fall out, it will become. Because he is me, always. Like I said before, most definitely. Take a little time, I guess, to, I guess, let that marinate. Um, most of all, wishing everybody a blessed day. Um, Get closer to the Father. Stay in tune with yourself. Remember, um, speak to the Father and through the Messiah in order to get whatever you're going through, uh, whatever problems you may be faced. Um, and keep in mind that the name Yahweh, Yahweh, means that the hand of the Father is coming. He's going, he's coming. He's coming. Yahweh, make all things come to pass because he is. And when he does come, judgment. Hashem Yahweh Shah is judgment, the end of all bad things will be removed from the earth. Peace will reign, but one thing's a fact and two things for certain. Before any of that occurs, Yahweh Shai is coming back. The Father is coming back. 
his word is coming back. So all things may be, may be fulfilled. And with that, I'd like to say, um, to Don Rabbi Yahawa for giving me the opportunity to present certain information to my fellow brothers and sisters. Bahashem Hamashiach Yahawasha, Uvein Barakata Ruach HaKadash. Blessed is the Holy Spirit always. Et lo yakalat kuntir, thomahar. Um, stay safe out there. Until next time, shalom alaykum. One.